All right, today we're gonna be going and we're going to be picking up the other remaining parts from Vance and hopefully we'll be bringing them back to work on that monster. My buddy drives the bus. So today, you may notice that I'm not in my Mazda still. It's still being worked on. I may or may not make a video of me installing those parts. It's I'm hoping to try and get it done really quickly. Um, hopefully by the end of the weekend. If I don't get that CV axle today, my mentor is supposed to be coming by tomorrow to help me pull that. Um, I decided that now for vlogs, particularly in-car vlogs or whatever have you, I'm not really gonna bring out the camera and bring out the whole equipment setup as um, much as I need to. <clears throat> so I decided what I am gonna do is I am going to start using my phone because my phone is also 1080p capable and an iPhone camera is really good quality. Um, even, you know, a lot of people have said so and I agree. <laughs> I particularly like using this app called Pro Camera, and as you can see there, it allows me a lot more function than just the basic iPhone camera. It doesn't allow me to do things like, you know, time lapse or slow mo that the regular camera app can do, but I still have the regular camera app. For Pro Camera Plus, or just Pro Camera, if you look it up on the App Store, it does allow you a lot of, um, flexibility with uh, your phone and especially even more so with the more updated versions. I'm using an old version from one of my old phones because I just really was accustomed to that and I really prefer it. This, it allows you to autofocus, manual focus, you know, adjust your exposure, adjust where the exposure is coming from. You can stop values, your exposure compensation, um, up or down two EVs. You can also change, you can usually change one of the three. So you can either change your exposure value, you can change your ISO, or you can change your shutter speed. You really only get that much. You don't get any options really with focal length or anything like that, unfortunately. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about was I just wanted to make this a little cruise vlog. And what I wanted to talk about today was basically, not really cars, but just kind of doing more with less. I am a person who firmly believes that you can use anything that's less that's not name brand and still get quality results. You may have to put a little bit more work in, but you can still get those quality results. Case in point, I'm using an iPhone camera right now instead of my regular 1080 PhD camera. Through editing and through just the camera's capabilities base-wise, they both are 1080p capable. This one seems to have a bit closer without zoom than a normal camera, which means a smaller, um, field of view but I've tested you just that just means you need to back up a little more than a normal camera um, for example mechanics work Harbor Freight tools versus snap-on a basic wrench set is all you really need to get started in automotive if you plan on doing it for as an actual field which I plan on doing that's a different story but if you're just doing it as a hobby, a weekend warrior kind of thing, then if your car is in good shape and not rusted out, then those tools, you know, the cheapest, cheaper tools should still be able to hold up at least to some level of use. Notice I didn't say abuse. Now, abuse is when you want some hobbyist tools or some mechanic level tools, because if you're planning on using a tool in a way that it's not intended to be used, then that's where the robustness of a higher quality comes in. But if you're planning on using a tool for anything that the way it's intended to be used, then 
that's perfectly fine. There are many people out there who don't need all the fancy tools to design a website, who can straight up design out their website with simple programs such as Notepad and Paint. You don't need Photoshop, you don't need Illustrator, you don't need a whole, all the things out there, the CCS editors, you don't need all of that. Because in the end, all they are is just tools to get you to one end goal. Out of the realm of automotive and filming, let's also say Jeremy Clarkson believes you can do a lot with a hammer. But let's also say, you idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost my thought. Okay, guys, here's my basic philosophy on this, um, and that's basically this. I am a firm believer in putting in hard work and doing what you need to do, regardless of whether or not you have proper tools or not. In reality, a tool is made to make your life easier. A car gets you from point A to point B a lot quicker than walking, than skateboarding, than biking. It makes life easier. A shovel makes life so much easier when you have to dig up a lot of dirt versus just using your hands. Tools are made to make our lives easier to do the work, but that does not mean that without those same tools, we are helpless and the job is totally impossible. I didn't want to just, just wanted to make this a little short vlog, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. And let me know what you guys' thoughts on this topic is down in the comments. I'm sorry this is kind of a rambly topic, and I promise you, as I do this more, I will get better at vlogging. I, my mind's in 10,000 places all the time, and as I complete more tasks, I should be able to get this... Uh, under wraps and kind of make more sense as I go along. Thanks guys. I will see you next time.